Hello, I am Sibendra Singh. Today I'm going to discuss a question from Combinatrix. This is a question from INMO 2002. The question is following. Do there exist 100 lines in a plane? No three, the, no three of them are concurrent such that they intersect exactly in 2002 with points. Uh, say uh, they are the lines such that no of the so if this is a two line and the concurrent point is this i mean the point at which they intersect so it is given that it is told that no three of them are concurrent this means that no three lines this is a straight line suppose then no three lines passes from a single point or they intersect at a single point so this does not happen so the line can be either parallel or they can intersect at most one point okay so they can be this way so they are intersected but none of them are concurrent in three points so they have asked this thing so let's begin let n1 n2 up to and k be the set uh, or be the number of elements that is lines uh, such that each line uh, in set r parallel that is uh, i just missed out so say a1 a2 there that ak are the set and there are n1 many element in this set or line and n2 many lines are here and to and k many lines are here says so that each line in set a1 are parallel and each in set A2 are parallel, and similarly, each in set AK are parallel. Uh, also, the lines A1 and A2, the lines from A1 and A2 are not parallel. Okay, and uh, such that this follows, such that none of the point, none of the line, none of the three lines from the three set intersect at a three points. Okay, then we have been given summation of an i i is equal to 1 to k is equal to 100 this means that the total lines n1 line here and two line here there are dot and k line here is equal to 100 it is given also uh the number of lines is equal to 2002 what is 2002 this is the number of concurrent points say suppose this is n1 uh this is line from set a1 and there are n1 many lines okay and this is a line from set a2 and there are n2 many lines now we can see that for any n1 for any n2 line it intersect uh with this with a1 at n1 many times right similarly this intersects for n1 many times so the total number of intersection is and one and two right so so there so there are k many such set so the number of such intersection point can be written as suppose this is i is equal to one two uh, k and j is equal to i two k and i times and j so what is this this seems to be too complicated right uh, so you can better uh, evaluate this this is very simple so take for instance i'm i'm going to take a very simple case for k is equal to 2 so just expand it uh, and one uh, this will be and one so i plus one sorry okay so this will be n one and two plus for i is equal to two so it does not this is ended right so this will be up to k minus one okay 
whatever so uh, this is n1 n2 many lines are here this is of a tweeted similarly for k is equal to 2 3 we can uh, take things that way now given that summation of n i is equal to 100 i is equal to 1 to k and summation of n i n j is equal to 2002 right so this is multiplication now summation of n i i from 1 to k this whole square is equal to summation from n i square plus two times this summation okay so this is i from 1 to k and here i 1 less than equals to i less than j less than equals to k so this implies that here again Okay, so uh, this implies that summation of i is equal to 1 to k and i square is equal to this is what 100 square right 100 square minus 2 times 2002 this is equal to if you solve you will get 5996 okay and we have already and i is equal to 100 right summation and i i from 1 to k so this is equation 1 this is equation 2 now we need to show that here and i are natural number right and i is the number of elements number of lines in set ai right so of course they are a natural number so we need to find if there exists some k such that and and i belongs to a natural number such that this condition holds equation one and equation two holds true okay now one method is that uh it is i'm taking some random number okay i mean random in the sense that let's take some of the largest possible uh, number that can happen the largest possible number that and i can contain is uh square root of 5996 the greatest integer function of this so if you solve this 72 so this may be okay this uh there can be some an i so some an i may take this number so let's test with this if it contains if it doesn't then we can process with some other ways in order to so that if there exists or not and if such exists then our work is done right so say n1 is equal to 77 so summation of i is equal to 2 to k and i is equal to what was the total summation summation of n i is equal to 100 right so summation of n i is equal to i from 2 to k will be 100 minus 77 this is equal to how much uh, 23 right and uh, summation of i is equal to 2 to k and i square this is equal to uh how many points should we have 5996 so 5996 minus 77 square right so on solving you get 67 now we need to see if such thing exists okay now say if n2 is equal to uh, the last just take the largest possible number the largest possible uh, number that n i can take is box of square root of 67 and this is uh, 8 right but uh, if you put 8 then in that case summation of i is equal to 3 to k and i is equal to 23 minus 8 is equal to 15 but summation of i is equal to 1 to k 
and i squared will be 67 minus 64 8 squared is 64 which is 3 but ni is a natural number so is this possible no this is not possible so this thing is not possible now if you take uh, uh, to be next can be 49 okay next take uh, so take and 2 in the other cases if and 2 is equal to 7 because and i can be less than equals to 8 right so take and 2 is equal to 7 then in that case summation of i is equal to 3 to k and i is equal to uh, let me write this is case 1 this is case 2 and i is equal to 7 then summation of and i is equal to 23 minus 7 this is uh how much 16 right and uh, summation of i is equal to 3 to k and i square will be 67 minus 49 this is 18 okay now if such do such and i belongs to natural number exist such that this condition hold uh, we can check it okay uh, let's write it here properly version of and i i from 3 to k this is equal to what was the number uh 16 right 16 and 18 so this is 16 and summation of an i squared is equal to 18 i from 3 to k this is i okay now take the number if you, this is very easy to see if and 3 is equal to 2 and 4 is equal to 1 uh, rest number are all 1 see uh, what I'm doing here is 14 times 1 plus 1 times 2 and then here it will be 14 times 1 square plus 1 times 2 square so this is 14 plus 4 is 18 and here 14 plus 2 is 16 so my work is done right so k is equal to in that case k is equal to 14 sorry 14 plus 1 uh, so okay you can take it in that case the number will be 77 and then 2 and then 1 1 1 how many times this is equal to 14 times and this is 1 then k is equal to 16 sorry we had 7 as well right we took here 7 isn't it right and 2 is equal to 7 so here and 1 is equal to 77 and 2 is equal to 7 and 3 is equal to 2 and this is 14 so for k is equal to 17 uh, there exists this set okay there exists this pair uh, th these are an i's such that this holds right so there exists such thing so we can claim that uh, the following statement holds true so this is how this problem is solved and thank you have a nice day